Well, could this be the solution to housing the homeless? Today, San Jose City and nonprofit leaders unveiling a new interim housing site located in the police parking lot. Here's NBC's Bay Area's Ian Cole. 33-year-old Juan Banales has been homeless for some time after he says hitting rock bottom. But today he got a preview of his new home and path forward. It's a shattered dream that's uh, coming true, you know, like um, I thought I wasn't going to be able to come out of the situation that I was in. Juan is one of 96 people who will now have a place to live as the city of San Jose unveiled its latest interim housing project. Each unit has a desk, air conditioning, a bed and its own bathroom. There's laundry and a kitchen on site. It's, it's exactly what we need, you know, just a place to rest, a place to be able to, to clean up. The community is known as a quick build. The buildings and units are prefabricated, so it took just a year and a half to complete this project. It's something San Jose is focusing on moving forward to curb the homelessness crisis. These units take one and a half years to build on average versus the nearly five years it's taking to build more traditional affordable housing and we're able to deliver them at about one-seventh the cost per door. And half of the units here will be reserved for members of the San Jose Bridge and Goodwill Strive program. It employs the unhoused to clean up and beautify the city. This is going to just explode with impact. Impact not only for the residents that we're serving, but the community at large. San Jose now has 700 units like this, either operating or under construction. Another 300 are on the way. And all of the projects have been built on public land so far. This one is in the parking lot next to police headquarters. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity. For Banalis, it's a second chance. Having this place is going to give me, give a lot of us an opportunity to, to get back into society and start working. In San Jose, Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.